So if you all watched my last video, we went fishing at Los Gatos Creek Park at the ponds and we caught one fish during a crazy storm, heavy winds and rain falling down there and there. But we managed to get one on the Ned Rig. So today we're going back. It is a much completely different day. We're not leaving very early. It's seven o'clock because this time of year you want to fish when the sun's up and when it's warm. Because right now it's still cold and the fish are wanting the heat more than the darkness. So we're gonna get picked up, fishing with my cousin. This could be the first time there. So yeah, if you guys watched my last video, I was kind of psycho when I caught that fish, but you know, I was just super excited to catching that fish during a storm. So, you know, um, put time in to catch that one. So today, I hope we'll catch more than one. So today, we're gonna bring two rods and a spinnerbait Ned Rig. So, see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at the spinnerbait. Happens here. trout trap can do. Now, she's over there. Not as much as here. Especially with being cold. It's just bad. All right, troll back at the spot where we caught the fish from last weekend. See what the rattle trap does. This is, I know, big turtle. Try cast. Let's try it here. Clear. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it! God damn it! I had one! Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. God damn it, Dad. Alright, I'll call you back. I had one. I saw the fish right there, Joey. That was, I saw the fish. Oh, you don't believe me? I'm gonna catch it. I Got one. What do you think? It's a little fatty. What did I tell you, Joey, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a fish that bit it. Woo! I get it. <laughs> Alright, look at this, you all. No skunk. Alright, here, see how many pounds he is. Oh, jeez. Here we go. One, eight ounces. Let me hang on, let me answer it. Little one and a half. Uh, 
to her. Cut it off. All right, there she goes. All right, dude. I don't know if I got it. We did it. All right, you all. So it is about 2:30 here at the park. It is pretty tough out here, but I was able to catch one fish. Um, we're not done yet, though. Um, I'm hoping that Joey will catch one. You know, I've given him his, I gave him my spinning rod, Ned rig. He tried drop shot. He tried all kinds of stuff, but can't catch one. So um, we're gonna continue on fishing for about another hour or two, and yeah, see what happens, man. Alright you all, to conclude for today's video. Today was super tough. I thought I was gonna have a better day than last week. Um, but to be honest, today was a little more tougher because you know, it's just having this nicer weather and stuff. The fishing is just so tough because of, I believe maybe the last storm or the new weather we've been having. Something has to be wrong with these bass. One crazy thing though, they're spawning dude. Guy over there about a few hours ago hooked on over like a two, one and a half, two pounder. I even saw it on the bed before he caught it, so you know, caught it on a jig and then all the way over there. We were managed to catch one on the Ned rig. That fish patted its mouth, spit it out. One minute later, hooked it again. Um, but yeah, this place, man, I remember last year the water on the one video on the channel was like out there, water line. So happens we can get rain. I'm super happy that we've been having these crazy storms. I'm hoping it'll keep raining, uh, for, especially for Lake Berryessa. It's only 15 feet under the glory hole after it's once 46 feet. So I'm hoping that we'll get more rain. So maybe, maybe it can get a, a glory hole filling at 440 feet. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you in the next video. See you all next weekend. Stay tuned.